What's going on everyone? What's poppin'? I'm back on Showdown today. Hope you all enjoyed my Lucky Punch Chansey video and the most recent Battle Factory stream I did. If you missed those, check out the last two previous videos, definitely worth the watch. And today we have a Golisopod video, which I was requested to use for some time, so I'd like for you to leave a comment and tell me if Golisopod did not only have the emergency exit ability, what second ability would be a good replacement? I'd like to know. I feel like it deserves something else. Like, um, I don't know, Tough Claws maybe. Look at this Claws. It could be, it could have Tough Claws. You know, it, it evolved from a Wimpod. It should no longer be a Wimp. Um, or just leave a comment to support. I look forward to hearing from you all. And shout out to everyone that dropped a super thanks on the last video. The support is very much appreciated and it really helps me out a lot. So thank you all for being an absolute boss. And so the set that I'm running here is AV, of course, Golisopod. Now this does get um, the nice signature uh, Rock Tome, but... I mean, it's a water type already, so we can just destroy Volcarona with Liquidation. I'm fine with that. And um, first impression, really good move. And it is allowing it to basically get priority, 90 power, very, very strong. Poison Jab for Tapu Fini and stuff. Because of AV, we can Sponge hits a lot better from Tapu Fini. And then Sucker Punch for priority against Dragapult, which is better, I think, than Aqua Jet. So it can cover more options for us. And I'm running uh, enough HP to hit 333, three, three, of course. Speed to hit uh, past a Poudon. Almost max investment in attack. I think 248 and 252 pretty much cover the same things in terms of attack. Not really much difference in damage. And then 32 Spadef to make this thing even bulkier on the uh, special defense side. Now, because of its ability emergency exit, I'm pairing it with Magnezone. Golisopod is actually really quite nice in terms of um, pivoting in. And you could also use it to pivot out with uh, the ability so that you could trap things like Corviknight, like... Um, Mel Metal, if they go for double Iron Bash and activate your ability, then you can trap it. You can bring it in for free, basically, not have it another Pokemon U-turn or or have this thing take a pot potential Earthquake or Superpower or something like that. Could be pretty nice. I think these two pair very, very well together. And so we can trap Ferrothorn as well because Glycopod does not appreciate that Pokemon. We have Rillaboom, nice choice band with uh, Grassy Glide, Woodhammer, the usual stuff. I think Rillaboom is really great because of the potential for Grassy Surge healing its HP, so maybe we get below 49, bring it back in later, then we get like 51 again, and then activate it again to pivot in uh, another Pokemon, so it could be pretty useful. And a great Mon to pivot into an emergency exit is Victini, which is allowing it to essentially just get a V-Create or some big hit off on a Pokemon. Have you do boots so that we don't take rocks damage. Lando T, which is Choice Scarf with Defog, because I have this thing to catch some certain mons by surprise. I've noticed that Landorus actually can, with Choice Scarf, catch like Pokemon like uh, Weavile by surprise. They expect it to be faster, but we get a nice U-turn off or against Coco, etc. I think it's really cool. And then finally, Umbreon, which is there to heal the team. I have no rocks on this team because of AV Glycopod, not Heavy Duty Boots. I want to make sure that rocks stay off the field, so I won't try to compete with my own rocks. But I think Umbreon's wish and, and utility is going to be so, so nice to heal up Glycopod and um, get it going all over again after it gets weakened. And uh, that's going to be the squad. Let's go ahead and hop into our first game and make this Golisopod set. Put in the finest of work with first impression. It won't be as hard as Choice Band, but at least we'll be able to switch up moves, which could be pretty useful. I mean, it has a pretty strong attack. Um, pretty standard team, nothing really out of the ordinary. I'm leading Scarf Landers here in case they lead something offensive. Offensive to me, like uh, Nidoking, for example. Could be annoying. Quite annoying. So the leader Shifu, I'm definitely switching out here into Golisopod. And then we could just get a first impression off here, to be honest. Like, just to get some chip on this thing, put it in range of Earthquakes later on. So nice little chip there. They got Torn, that's fine. We get to, we get to go Umbreon here pretty safely. And then Wish ourselves back up. So they go Heatran. I think we can probably wish up our Glycopod here. Nice. So let's Liquidation. As they go Slowbro. This allows us to go right into Rillaboom. Get the terrain up here, which is going to be cool. I think Superpower might be even better on this thing. Wow, I don't know why they went into that, but okay, I'm gonna knock off, get rid of Heatran's leftovers, and then we could probably go into something like Landris could work. Or, yeah, 
Landers could work. Also, like, Victini is not a bad play because just because we can, like, bolt strike a bunch of times. Yeah, and they also go into this thing, too. So we can, we can bolt strike here. Should be good. So they knock off. We get a big, big bolt strike off. That's what I like to see. Boots get knocked off, though, but that's okay. Hello? <laughs> what is that even supposed to mean? What is that even supposed to mean? I have no idea. What does that have to do with, like, in relation to this battle? I have... What? <laughs> Alright, so anyways. Um... Yeah, we can probably just go... We could do Rillaboom and Knockoff here as an option. Try to get more chip on stuff is what we could do. Could also U-turn, but this is fine. Um, Heatran is in. We go... Probably Golisopod. Emergency exit ourselves into Landris. And then... I think just Stone Edge here is the play in case they go into Torn, which they do. And gone. Beautiful. So now we can pretty freely Earthquake a bunch of stuff, which is always nice. Um, we can just go Glycopod here. As they you turn out into Weavile. And I'm going to first impression. They just decide to not go for their, <laughs> the, the correct move. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Um, I'm going to Sucker Punch for some chip. As they sludge wave, and this should allow us to, I believe. You okay? <laughs> I just need to know if he's okay. Like, what's going on? I mean, thumbnail text in the beginning is always nice. Big hit off here, and now this slowbro is going to be dead. This Oshif is going to be dead. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Slow bros in, so we definitely, definitely want to switch out here. Probably go Umbreon. And then go right for the Wish. As he teleports out into Heatran. Uh, my play probably is just to foul play for Chip. And why does that thing take so much from foul play? I have no idea. He misses two Magma Storms. I get burnt, that's fine. I will gladly take it. And good game. So thumbnail text to start this video off. It's just what you love to see. I have no idea what that guy was talking about, but <laughs> I'm not in the club right now. Um, unless he knew who I was. I was there, I was at the club like a week ago. Let's continue on. So, okay, now we have a rain team. Uh, versus rain could be a little tricky, but we have the Rillaboom. I mean, that's a huge, huge asset to our team right now um kind of just want to lead with Golisopod here and i'm not sure what this is going to do but i think umbreon's kind of safe for now umbreon is looking kind of safe as a switch so it's probably going to just be like a regular regular old defensive set bearskita's in let's protect see what he wants to do because we know that this is going to be choice banded and it's going to be flip turn. Okay, so because it's going to be flip turn, we just wish here. We'll take about 50 to 60. Or less than that, 49. I like that. Protect here is our play to get back to a good amount of health. And then we could probably bring in Golisopod, start poison jabbing stuff. Could be what we need to do. Let's start a timer as well. Scald. Okay, cool. Let's go Golisopod here. I don't know what this Finny is gonna do. I've not really seen I've not really seen Finny on rain before. Moonblast. Okay, cool. Let's poison jab here. As they go Ferrothorn, and then we get to go Magnezone here. Unless they double, which would be a good play. Yeah, look at that. See this? See this? Look at this. Ooh, liquidation. Nice. That's leftover, so I'm gonna just go for it again. If it's leftovers, it's probably just rocks. And we are faster as well. They flip turn out. And now we just weaken the Swampert with Golisopod. That is beautiful. Beautiful. So here they're probably just going to flip turn. I could get some chip. And because now they flip turned, 
I get the emergency exit. They can't leave just yet. So I'm gonna go into um, Landris to intimidate. And then I'm going to follow this up with a U-turn of my own. As they go Pelipper, nice. Okay, so now that they've gone into Pelipper, right? What we can do is, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, we get a free knockout here in a few ways. I think, well, I think the best way to get a free knockout is by going Victini. Because if we both strike and they go into Swamper, we can Energy Ball right after. So they go Swamper and then we Energy Ball to knock this out. And goodbye, Swampert. So that Mon is out of the way, which is great. I'd love to be able to try to wish up a Glycopod if possible, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. So I guess we, I mean, we keep Landers around for sure, 100%. I think we keep Victini, it's pretty good. So I think maybe we could go into, um... Okay, so how do we beat Tabafini? We, we have a Rillaboom which can beat Tabafini. Let's go, let's go Glycopod, why not? Liquidation here, and then all we gotta do here is, is first impression. Because if, if we first impression, then um, we trap immediately right after. Um, I also could have doubled, but this is just the safest way to do it. So the absolute safest way right here is doing this. So we iron defense up uh, three times, and then just body press. They're gonna be forced to go someone else. Actually, I don't even know what what beats this now. Um, I guess Zapdos we can. Beat it with uh, Rain Weather Ball. Let me get one more up. So he's trapped for good, which is amazing. And now we just body press here. This will knock it out, guaranteed, because he's not Choppled Berry. And so once this is gone, which it is now, we probably can knock out the next month. So it's gonna be Barrasquita. Definitely I could see him clicking flip turn here or something, yep. I'm just gonna body press again in case something else comes out. I could have also discharged, but yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna discharge here now. I see no reason not to, because if they go Zapdos, if they say this thing and go Zapdos, right? We literally go Landorus, we Stone Edge, and then we Grassy Glide, Grassy Glide, Grassy Glide. So they go Finny, which is cool. Actually, weakening this is always nice. They did not decide to go uh, Zapdos. And they Skull, okay. And now, what we do here, I don't, uh, I remember it switched up moves, right? So it did switch up from Skull to other, the other thing. So we uh, we go Victini and Bolt Strike, I think it, that should knock it out. Yep. Perfect. We want to keep Umbreon healthy, we want to keep Rillaboom healthy, and Lander is probably healthy too. I believe. Um, but we can go Rillaboom, we can. Be a risky play, but they liquidate. Now all we gotta do here is go um, Umbreon. Foul play this thing, just to guarantee the knockout. Yep, so that's gone. And so to guarantee the win, I think all we gotta do is protect on this next turn. So they decide a hurricane, right? As I expected. Let's wish. Okay, so they're probably, they could be specs. Potentially be specs. So they're probably gonna go Pelipper, right? Which will get destroyed here by the Stone Edge. Hit a couple Stone Edges, let's win this game real quick. Yep. Last Mon Zapdos. Should die to a Stone Edge plus a Grassy Glide. For us to win this game, hit this Stone Edge, buddy. And it's just one shot. Okay, nice. Because <laughs> we crit it. But without the crit, we, it would have been just a um, Stone Edge plus gra uh, Grassy Glide at, uh, at the end to finish it off. So, good game. Very nice. And um, to the next. So, Glide Spot here was actually pretty nice. Got to show you how uh, to utilize like Emergency Exit or just like getting ourselves knocked out. In the process was pretty solid. I do like Glycopod a lot. It's really, really cool mon. Just that ability, you know, 
kind of makes it a little bit uh, like I, I wish I got an ability that actually kind of helped it, <laughs> helped its moves out maybe, or its stats. Um, okay, we have a uh, ring target uh, team. You can immediately recognize it by seeing Jirachi as the lead, and then Regieleki right after. So this is a ring target team. Um, they're gonna try to like ring target the Landris or something. So what I want to do here is lead Landris. In fact. I think, yeah, lead, leading Lander is definitely the best play right here. Now, I don't remember if this thing was max attack or not. Okay, let's say, let's assume they ring target this thing, right? If they do, then... I still have a Rillaboom and a Magnezone. Let's say they trick right now a ring target. What would I give them instead? I would want to give them AV. Yeah, I probably see, I, I could have knocked it out with Earthquake, but let's just play it safe in case they were like somehow living on 1%. So yep, take my AV and then we can just go ahead and first impression. Doing 50 <laughs> as the Iron Head. Now we get the Sucker Punch here and goodbye. So one Mon down. They ring targeted the wrong Mon. Now we have to go Landers here. As they go Dragonite, and we get to you turn out. Nice and safe into um, something that beats Dragonite, which is going to be Umbreon. As they Dragonite's up. And this is a foul play here. As they go Bisharp, which... Um... Ooh, okay. Volcarona is in now. They burnt me, which is annoying, but you know, to say the least. I'll be create here. Psyche does nothing, that's good. As Garchomp comes in here. Uh, against this thing, we definitely Glaciate. That's definitely the play. And then the speed is dropped, right? So I'll let them scale shot so that we can go into Landris and just you turn out. Yup. Because now we get the heal bell. The heal bell is going to be amazing so that we don't get burnt again. Um, they're definitely doubling here, so I'm just going to foul play. Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Just what you love to see. And they can't outroost the Umbreon foul play. It's the most foul of plays. There we go. <laughs> nice U-turn here. And just GG. Immediate GG right there. So it's good that we U-turned out so we could trick the ring target onto um, Golisopod so that we could actually see it putting in work. It, uh, it was good. It was good here. And uh, pretty straightforward, solid game overall on how to outplay ring target mons and Eleki because you just don't want your ground type to get um, that item. Especially if you uh, don't have any other electric switch ins on your team. And I mean, you don't want to give anybody free Volt Switch. Like that's. You, you haven't seen. Uh, I don't know if you've seen Joey's video on every team needs a ground type. That's the, that's the key. Every team needs a ground type. You need to block, block Volt Switch. Like Volt Switch is like just a move that can cause all sorts of problems if they have a U-Turner. Volt Turn is just incredible. Like here, we have U-Turn Volt Switch, but, um, and U-Turn on Dragapult. Somewhat of a, a Volt Turn, but you know what I mean. Uh, anyways, we, we just lead here with uh, probably, hmm. I'm gonna lead with Landris. No, 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 I'm going to lead Dragapult. Not Dragapult, sorry. Glycopod. Because I know they're going to lead Dragapult, right? So I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch immediately, turn one. <laughs> the turn one Sucker Punch here is going to be fire. Check this out. Look at that, 75. And and they only did that much back because they decided to U-turn. So Tapu Lil is in. I don't have a great switch to this Mon, unfortunately. But I'm going to definitely just go into Victini. As they Moonblast dropped myself... Um, I think I definitely will just click V-Create here. And they go Rotom, which allows us to go Umbreon. So I, I believe this uh, type of Lele is probably Specs, right? Let them Volt Switch out. Let's figure out what move they're going to lock into again. And it's going to be Moonblast again. So this is tough because like I have to keep uh, giving a piece up. Mm. Victini is kind of nice though, but it's okay. I'm going to go Victini again. And then I'm going to click 
energy ball this time. Yep, perfect. That is just what I love to see. And then um, I'm going to recreate this turn here. Hit the landers for some damage. And then we get to go into... Oh, why not Glycopod here? The U-turn out, that's fine. It's whatever. So Lele is back. I'm gonna just, I have, I'm just gonna stay in and take this hit because I can emergency exit out and go right into Victini. And I get a big V create off here, which is gonna be great. Absolutely great. So Landris is back. Don't have Rocky Helmet, unfortunately, but you know, is what it is. They'll U-turn out here. And so if they go Tapu Lele, uh, no, they go Weavile. Okay, so I'm definitely U-turning out here. Yeah, there we go. Big damage. Um, we get to go, I think, into... We could go Magnazone here, which, which is an option always. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to click Flash Cannon. I think he's the play. Ah, okay, so there, there that's it. Okay, that's good to know. Um, knock off, low kick. They're not locked in. So is it Swords Dance Ice Shard? I have no idea. Hmm, okay. So, what must one do in this scenario here? I think we just, um, we go Umbreon. Oh, sorry, uh, we go Landers into Umbreon now. Because we don't want to take an Ice Shard. Unless he's just doesn't have Ice Shard, right? Be kind of weird. Yeah, okay, that, that works. <laughs> that definitely works. Um, I'm definitely going to click uh, U-turn here. We should knock it out, and then it should be faster. And back in the lenders we go. Kartana is in. So with Kartana being in, we're definitely going Umbreon here. Oh my lord, critical hit Leaf Blade? Come on, man. Come on. You gotta be kidding me with that. Alright. Mm. Oh, that's annoying. That is so annoying. 72. Yeah, this is like, come on. Critical hit? Okay, actually, I think we'll be okay. I think all we gotta do here is... Um, Gorilla Boom. This gives us a uh, knockoff, I think. No, this gives us a U-turn. I do kind of want a knockoff, but I'll U-turn out. Yes, Rotom is in. Perfect. Um, I think this will give us the wish with Umbreon, but then we have to... No, you know what we could do, right? We could go Landers here and just U-turn again. Kind of trap him in the vortex a little bit. So now we go into Umbreon here. Which will, of course, invite Tapu Lele. We protect to get a little health back. They're going to Moonblast. We go Glycopod here. Then we go Victini. And then we click um, uh, V-Create, I think, or Glaciate. I think V-Create's better. They sack Dragapult, so that's good. Very, very good. Okay, so Kartana is, of course, an issue, right? It is, of course, going to be an issue. Weavile is going to be pretty good, actually. Hmm. This is a very tough game. I, I did not like the crit on, on Umbreon a lot because that definitely uh, put us in a, a worse position. They went Kartana. Um, okay. Hmm. What's a better play? I think going Landish is a better play. Even if they knock off Scarf, that's fine because now we get an Earthquake and we get to knock off something. So if, if they give us Weavile, that's one less piece on the board for them. So I will take this, gladly. You can have my Scarf, and now you have to give something up. And the thing is that they, if they go Lele, they, um, they'll die, they, if they don't die to Earthquake, they'll die to a next turn foul play, um, depending on what they go for. So they can't switch it in safely. 
So they just do that. Okay, so they're sacking Kartana. Oh. That is not good for you because I have, then I have Rillaboom to Grassy Glide and win. In the end, potentially. Interesting. Okay, so they sack this Mon. That's really good. They go Weavile now. We get to just... Um, okay, so I think the play now would be to go Umbreon, and I don't believe we get knocked out by a Triple Axel, so we foul play here for sure. So they, they go into this. All we gotta do now is, if I'm not mistaken, um, Sack Victini, go Rillaboom, Grassy Glide uh, twice to win the game. So there, I mean, their only play is to go Weavile, go back, and then I switch out and switch back. That's how the game's gonna end. Unless they just give me, give me it right now. But this was definitely a, a closer game. Yeah, they just give it to me. Okay, this was definitely a closer game for sure. Um, we'll be able to win here, I think. Yeah. Good game. Very uh, solid game right there. Um, cool to see. Uh, so, of course, you know, Psychic Terrain blocking uh, Glycopod, but still cool to see it putting in the work early game, especially on the Dragapult. Uh, getting that down really low, really early, it was was great, and um, yeah, very solid overall. And I'll probably get one more and uh, end it off then, because I have something coming your way. I have an announcement at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. There'll be uh, some some cool stuff that's uh, gonna be coming out soon. So this guy's rocking a melodic squad. Looks a little... No, that's not that similar to mine, but... I definitely uh, had a Milotic team. Hmm. So, the question is what I want to lead with. And I think I do want to lead Rillaboom here. So I can do the immediate U-turn. They don't burn me, thankfully. And now we get to go Victini, and we get the Grass Energy Ball right here, which will be beautiful against the Rotom. And against anything that tries to switch into us. Yeah, this Rotom. Let's see how much this takes. Ooh, that is damage right there. Look at that. Nice 2-hit KO. Except he's Choice Scarf and he crit me. <laughs> ah, nice. I'm going to Poison Jab here. And then I'm going to Liquidation. No, I'm going to Poison Jab again. I'm going to Double Poison Jab. Double Poison Jab here is the play. Or I can Liquidate predicting... Uh, Something else to come in. Yeah, there we go, there we go, nice. So the prediction was made. Oh, except it lived. And goodbye. <laughs> so Golisopod destroys Volcarona. Just what you love to see. Absolutely what you love to see. So now, the Rotom is in. And we know he's Choice Scarf, right? So. Good. So we gave him the AV now. He can't be doing any more trick stuff. And we get to keep the Choice Scarf, which could be pretty useful. I'm going to go Umbreon here. Protect to see what he wants to do. And it's going to be Moonblast. We have a um, Magnezone that we could go into. Or we could actually pivot out by going this first. And then actually going Rillaboom here and clicking U-Turn. And now we trap this. Nice. So now the Grassy Glides are pretty free. We just Iron Defense up here all the way, which will be good for us. Um, and Body Press this. Oh, he's Chopple. Okay, cool. So we got up all his Hazards, but we can Scarf Defog pretty easily. If they decide to go Tapu Lele to try to Focus Blast us, we do have um, the Chopple, and we can Flash Cannon this. Yeah, and that's beautiful. That's gone. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, so... Um, do we have enough pieces on the board? Uh, yes, I think. All we gotta do here is just body press. Oh wow, they're just missing every single move now. I mean, at this point, it's just over. Good lord. Okay, good game. <laughs> Sorry about that, but GG. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, not bad. Okay, but that's a good game to end it off on. We got the Golisopod actually putting in the finest of work. Destroying Volcarona. It didn't even knock out the Volcarona, but I knew it was like a bulky set or something like that. Which was crazy. If the Lele hit its move, we flash cannon. Then we go into Landris. Defog. Which is pretty easy, then switch around and we have the uh, grassy uh, Rillaboom to destroy everything else. 
Once Ferrothorn was gone, I mean, it was pretty much over. Um, but my announcement is that coming soon, which is real soon, I think, is Hoenn to the top with Joey. Do you remember uh, Cantor to the top, Jojo to the top? Those videos were really fire, and I know you all enjoyed it. It's the one where I um, did it, uh, did like the gym leader teams and the elite four teams and stuff, and alternate between Joey and my channel and stuff like that. We we specialized in in each gym leader's teams and and laddered up in um, whatever the tier was, like OU or National Dex, depending. I think this will be National Dex, but Hoenn to the top. So yep, that's gonna be it from me. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed Glycopod putting in the work. I really think it did well in this video. So. Um, that's great. And like I said in the beginning, let me know in the comments any kind of other ability that would be a great replacement for Emergency Exit. I think Emergency Exit was good, but it would benefit better if it could hit harder with another ability or maybe something else, maybe a, a defensive ability. Who knows? Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.